Hello, welcome to Lil's Vintage World. So this video is going to be a wrap up video of the books that I read kind of when I left my flat and I was reading normally for me, um, up to kind of now today where I am. So I've got with me my little notebook. This notebook is, as you can see, Peter Rabbit notebook, Beatrix Potter, love Beatrix Potter, um, and it's got this shiny uh, cold ribbony thing that I use as a bookmark. And I write down all the books, essentially like Goodreads, that I've read in each month and the star rating that I gave it and whether it was a reread or not. So it kind of looks like, like this. Ooh. Yes, I highlight it because I'm that sort of person. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna show you the books that I have been reading recently and chat you through them. If any of these books take your fancy, I will leave links for them in the description bar below so you can check them out yourself. And of course you can buy them if you want to. Up to you. So, October, <laughs> October 2018, I read nothing. I actually read nothing. I was reading something, but it took me about six weeks to read. So I finished in November. Yeah, I read Zilch in October. So you can tell when the renovations really kicked off, can't you? <clears throat> Excuse me. And then, November, I read one book. I finished that book that I started in October. And that is The Case of William Smith by Patricia Wentworth. I do love me a Patricia Wentworth. This book is about a man called, funny enough, William Smith, who is serving during the Second World War. And then he wakes up and he's in a hospital and he's been given the name William Smith. And he's like, I'm not William Smith, but I can't remember who I am, so I'm gonna go with it. And he starts to put his life back together again. And then people from his past, but he doesn't really know that they're from his past, come back and mysterious things start to happen and trouble starts to brew around him. And Miss Silver comes in to help and give a helping hand. I liked this but I didn't love it. I gave it three stars. You know, I liked it. I thought it was good. I think the situation which I was reading, which was obviously knackered, um, probably didn't help. But also this book isn't like as gory. Not that Patricia Wentworth's books are gory. Um, they're about as gory as Agatha Christie's, but I just wanted it to kind of kick off like a bit sooner and like I just wanted a real good murder at the beginning or something. <laughs> that makes me sound terrible. But I just wanted that to kind of get going and it just, it didn't happen. Um, so I gave this three stars. I liked it. Maybe it's one that I should come back to maybe a bit later when I've, when I've kind of read a bit more of her works and, and give it another try because, you know, the reading situation wasn't brilliant, was it? Then, what should I read next? Oh, now we are into December. I picked up... It started with a tweet by Annabelle. As you can see, I read it on my Kindle. I think this cost me about 99p. I picked it up because I just fancied something that was gonna be really light and easy to read. And I always find a chick lit really helps me to just kind of pick up a book and read it and fly through it. So I picked it up. It's about a woman called Daisy. She's 31. She works for this company and she's a really hard worker. She's there early, she's always staying late. People know how hard she works and um, she organises herself a date, it's on a dating app. She sets up this date and she puts on this tweet because she's addicted to social media. Um, she puts uh, fancy knickers £25, Brazilian £30, a hot date, hashtag priceless. She goes on this date, it's an awful date, the guy is terrible, and they're not right for each other at all, he is awful. And then she comes home from the date and her tweet has just blown up. It's gone viral um, because she accidentally tweeted from her work account rather than her own Twitter account. So she's absolutely humiliated. She gets fired from her job. And her sister's like, look, you're coming with me on a digital detox. We're coming up to Cumbria, out in the sticks. There's no internet there, no phones. So everything else can cool down and that's what happened. She goes up to Cumbria on this digital detox and how does someone who's addicted to social media get on without internet and phones and just all that type of thing. I 
I enjoyed this book. I gave it three and a half stars. I thought it was good. I'm gonna be honest, I was a little annoyed at the ending. There's something about like a good old chick that like chick lit that you really like a good ending. You want a really like a satisfying ending that you feel like, yeah, I feel really happy that so-and-so character and so-and-so character, you know, they're happy and they're doing this with their lives and that person's doing that with their lives. And it just felt like it cut it short a bit. I also felt like it was a bit cliche at times, which is fine for a chick lit, but I just, mm, I wanted it to just, I wanted it to be a bit longer, basically. I didn't want it to end the way that it did. I wanted a little bit more. I've just felt a little bit unsatisfied, um, but I enjoyed it. And if you're after a good old chick lit, then I would recommend this one. So after that, I fancied some comic books because I'd been watching some DVDs of like superhero films. So I really fancied some comic books that I hadn't read. So I picked up Wonder Woman. This is part of the DC Universe Rebirth series, volume one, The Lies. Uh, I received this for my birthday or Christmas last year or this year or something like that. Um, and it was sat on there on my shelf and I was like, I'm gonna read you. And I liked it should I say, I liked it. This is like the artwork. Um, I thought it was good. Did I think it was great? No, they kind of do, it's kind of a bit of a people pleaser book in the sense that they said, um, like at the beginning, they said like how Wonder Woman, Diana was created, whatever you want to call her. Um, they say uh, she was like the queen of the Amazons prey to the gods and she was made out of clay or like she had an affair with Zeus himself. You know, it's like trying to people please, like, so you get both like versions of it. And I'm like, just pick one. Like, <laughs> does it matter? Just pick one. And that kind of happens throughout. So I liked it. Will I carry on with it? Probably not because I've heard that this does get better, but later on. And I'm renovating a house. I don't have the money to spend on like volumes and volumes of comics to wait till it gets good. Whereas I could just reread the new 52 series, which let's be honest, is really good. So yeah, liked it, didn't love it. But if you have the money to keep buying them, then yeah, I probably would read it. I just, I just don't. So that's that one. Then I picked a uh, Another comic, I was on the comic train. I picked up Batgirl, Volume 4, Wanted. This is the new 52. I picked this up because the Volume 3 was left on a right old cliffhanger, it's really good. And I was like, oh, so excited for this volume, Volume 4. And then when I found it in the box, I was like, yes, I'll read it. I was disappointed. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I mean, it's not bad, it's good, but it's not amazing. The last one I gave, Four, four, maybe four and a half stars. I really enjoyed it, I thought it was really good. This one I gave three. Like there was a storyline which was quite good and then another storyline which just wasn't good and I was just like, uh, what? Um, yeah, again, I think this is one that I'm gonna stop now, unfortunately, because I thought I was gonna keep going with this Batgirl series for ages, but um, I don't know. I, I'm not gonna bother with this one because it's just, it's not as good. There's there's so many books out there to read, isn't there? You know, there's no point just carry on, carrying on a, um, a series for the sake of like hoping it gets better. So I'm just leaving that there. Then I picked up another book. I fancied a proper book um, and I was craving Woodhouse's writing. So I picked up Something Fresh by P.G. Woodhouse because as you know, I finished the Jeeves and Worcester series now. It's done, it's over, kaput. Um, so I thought I would pick this up. This is the first, book in the Blanding series. And it's about um, this Lord, Lord, Lord Emsworth, is it? Yeah, Lord Emsworth, who's a little bit batty, he's a bit dotty, a bit of a scatterbrain. Um, he's, how you think like a, a bit of an old Lord is, that is what he's like. Um, he like accidentally steals things here. He's stolen a silver fork um, in his pocket because he goes to this um, dinner thing and he's talking to the waiter and the waiter's like, do you want to take that fork out your pocket? He's like, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Didn't mean to do that, obviously he did. Um, it, it's quite funny and he's got this son called Freddy who is just useless. He's got way too much money and he's just useless and his father's just had enough of him. Um, I enjoyed it. I gave it three and a half stars. I liked it. I think if I'd have read this before Jeeves and Worcester, I'd have probably enjoyed it more, but obviously I didn't. So. Yeah, 
I mean, I'm going to carry on with this series because I think I just need to get used to the characters. I think that's all it is. I just need to bide my time and get myself used to the characters and see how I go. And then I fancied a comic book and then after this I'm right up to date. Um, so I read Simpsons comic extravaganza. I know, very mature. Um, I am someone who still watches The Simpsons. I'm not embarrassed to say that actually. I think it's more of a nostalgia thing. I don't know how many children watch The Simpsons nowadays, but I still love The Simpsons. Uh, when I say love, mm, The Simpsons for me, there's that episode, I can't remember what season it is, but the one where Seymour Skinner isn't Seymour Skinner, he's Harmon Tanzarian. Um, that episode was just a big pile of puppy poo, wasn't it? After that, it's just Simpsons goes hit and miss. And I do find that you find even like the new series or seasons of Simpsons, sorry, um, there is still a couple of like really good, really funny ones. And I thought, oh, I'll pick this up. It was in charity shop. It was only a couple of pounds. Pick it up. Um, and yeah, I'm certainly not the target audience for this. It was okay. I gave it two stars. Um, it's not for me. I'm I'm just going to stick to watching it on the TV uh, and I'm not going to read the comic book. So I thought I'd give it a try because I thought I might enjoy it. Um, but no, not for me. But hey, hey. So that is me. That is where I'm up to right now. Um, hopefully I'm going to read more in December because especially when I finish work, I've got all the time in the world to read and reread. I love rereading in Christmas time where it's all cosy and you've got blankets and you're safe and you snuggled up hot chocolate and marshmallows and uh, <laughs> I can just, I can feel the calories coming over me. Um, yeah. That's me. So love to know in the comment section what books you've read recently and what books you've really enjoyed recently because as you can see I didn't have any amazing books that I've read recently. I've had some you know good and okay books but nothing to really grab my attention. So I'd love to know in the comment section what books you've read recently that you've really enjoyed and I shall see you soon. So take care. Bye.